Place, San Antonio Cape, year 1986. In these scenes found in old archives, we see the coast of a region located south of the island of Cuba, often visited by Pippin Ferraris in his underwater hunting trips from which he made his daily income. Pippin, who despite being well known as a prolific spear fisherman in Cuba, he was not recognized yet as the world champion in free diving that he is in these days. Pippin was able to reach these depths thanks to the training provided by being a hunter underwater on a daily basis. Fishing in Cuba was normally done without the support of a boat. Boats were a luxury and not many could afford them. Most of the time they needed to swim long distances from shore and sometimes covering an area as extensive as six miles. Normally accompanied by two assistants who would help carry the fish and serve as a safety diver. There is a great possibility to find pelagic fish on the edge of submerged cliffs. These fish would come in from greater depths to shallower waters, searching for small fish. In shallow water, small fish are in abundance. This occurs because the sunlight warms the upper layer of water creating this way a richer abundance of marine life. This explains why the coral reefs lose density when the depths increase. The microscopic nutrients, like plankton, are also more abundant in shallow and warmer waters, affecting visibility when compared to more frigid waters. In this shot, we observe Pippin making an evaluation of the area. As we have mentioned in previous volumes, he performs a smooth descent with five kick cycles to break the initial inertia and then allowing gravity to take him to the bottom. Descending in this manner reduces physical exertion in the hunter. The spear gun must be carried down by the intermediate section of it and not by the handle. Once close to the bottom, it should be hidden with the body to avoid an aggressive posture. Swimming in midwater must be avoided since this will be perceived by the potential prey as a typical gesture of a predator. The approach should be done as close as possible to the bottom. Ensure, just like Pippin is doing in this shot, that the safety mechanism of the trigger is deactivated. Take now the spear gun by the handle and make a more direct approach, avoiding direct eye contact with the creature. Observe as Pippin changes the rhythm of his kicking to attract the animal's attention. Such tactics work this time. Once the shot has been made, he lets the gun go. His only concern now is to return immediately to the surface. The gun will be retrieved by the assistant from the surface. In this shot, we observe a slightly different situation. Pippin, after the appropriate evaluation of the area, noticed a couple of fish swimming just above the reef. He makes the same smooth descent we have seen before and that we always recommend. Softly, he descends while holding the gun by the intermediate portion of it. This time, the approach is directly over the fish. This difference in the approach has taken the fish completely by surprise. The shooting of the shaft is also performed directly from the top of the fish. Pippin, noticing that the shaft didn't completely go through the animal, decided to take it by the tail to restrain movement and the use of the strongest fin the fish has, the caudal fin. Then he will secure the fish along with the shaft he grabs the creature by the gills for a safer grip, proceeding to ascend. Once in the surface, he will finish the kill to avoid attracting other predators. 